we're going to be finding the x and y intercepts given the equation of a line. Let's recap what x and y intercepts are to begin with. When you have an x and y axis, all lines have two intercepts, an x and a y intercept. Well, let me clarify. If the line is completely horizontal, it only has a y-intercept. This is a y equals something line. Usually it's a single number. And if it's vertical, you're only going to have an x-intercept because this is going to be an x equals something line. Other than that, all other lines are going to have both an x and a y-intercept. In this case, the y-intercept is going to be where x is 0, and then you have something in the y position, and then the x-intercept is where the y is 0. So there's something in the y position, and then you have a 0 in the y-coordinate. That's the x-intercept. So in looking here, when we want to find the x and the y-intercept, you simply stick 0 in each variable, and you solve for the other variable. So to solve first for your x-intercept, we're going to plug a, uh, 0 in the y-coordinate, and to solve for the y-intercept, we plug 0 in the x-coordinate. So if we plug a 0 here in the y-coordinate, imagine this with 0, 5 times 0 is just a big fat 0, so stick a big fat 0 there, and basically we're going to end up with 4 x equals 12, and you solve for x here. We're going to divide by 4, divide by 4, cancel the 4s there on the left. 4 goes into 12 three times. So that would be your coordinate. That would be your x-intercept. Now, for the y-intercept, we're going to stick a 0 in the x-coordinate. So this just becomes big fat 0. So now we have 5y equals 12, and we divide both sides by 5. They cancel. So y is going to equal 12 over 5, and you can't really simplify that much beyond that unless you want to change it to a mixed number. But we can see here Alex doesn't even provide for mixed numbers, so we're going to leave it as an improper fraction. So our x-intercept is going to be 3 comma 0, which is just 3. And our y-intercept is going to be 12 over 5. 